Rigging the sprit is a pretty simple process really. It requires lots of rope. I chose a 38 inch nylon. Scissors or knife and a lighter. When the rope is cut, the ends need to be defrayed or they will unravel. After drilling a 3/8 inch hole in the mast, about an inch and a half from the top, I tied a figure eight knot. Then I defrayed the other end of my short piece of rope. and inserted it through the hole in the mast. I then ran it through the hole in the throat of the sail and tied another figure eight knot. One thing to remember here is that the knots are tight and tight against the mast. Starting with the grommet at the tack, I began lacing the sail. Then once around the mast, through a grommet, around the mast, etc. After making sure I hadn't missed a grommet, I tied another figure eight knot, one grommet down from the throat. Once I had my lacing stretched tight, I cut the rope, leaving about a three-foot tail. I tied another figure eight knot at the tack to make sure the rope kept tight to the mast. At this point I installed a sail cleat, about halfway between the tack and where the masthead will be. I bought a couple of 3/8 inch nylon cleats and some ter number 32 by inch and a quarter stainless screws at West Marine. Drilled two 8 inch holes and installed the cleat. The cleat is in line with the luff.
Then I drilled a 3 8 inch hole in the sprit, inch and a half from each end. Cut a piece of rope about a foot long and at the peak of the sail I tied another double figure eight knot. Ran the rope through the sprit and tied a figure eight knot. Next I had to guess where to mount the pulley for the sprit. Using my best judgment I drilled a pilot hole about 4 feet from the top of the mast. I loosely mounted a quarter inch by inch and a half long bolt with a 1 inch washer. Then I looped a short piece of rope with the pulley attached around the bolt and tightened it. Another option is to drill a 3 8 inch hole through the mast, insert the rope and tie a figure 8 knot which I might do at some point. I installed a second cleat opposite the first one to accommodate the sprit line.
After rolling up the sprit, I attached another line to the clue with a figure eight knot. The line I attached here is not part of the sprit design, but my own idea, which will become clear at a later time. The sprit rig fits well in the mast head and seats itself in the mast foot. Time for a trial run. The wind speed was about 7 miles per hour, not enough for a true test, but enough to learn that I had a mast problem. The mast would not rotate as it should. <laughs> 